Today was the 14th Mississippi Blues Marathon. Hundreds of runners hitting the pavement in downtown Jackson. Now for the first time, the start and the finish line was right there at the state capitol. Runners made two loops of the 13.1 mile course to complete the 26.1 or 26.2 mile marathon, while others opted for the half marathon, the 10K or the 5K. After multiple date changes because of the pandemic and a scheduling conflict, the marathon made its way back to the metro, welcoming runners from all over the country and all over the world. I'm actually from Germany, so <coughs> coming for the race. Is this your first Mississippi Blues Marathon? It's the first one over here, right? But it's my, I don't know, like plus 100. Hey, the runners ran to the rhythm of the blues being paid, played throughout the race course. Portions of the proceeds raised today go to the Mississippi Blues Commission's Benevolence Fund. Now to the competitive, competitive spirit of today's race. And 16 WAPT's Marcus Hunter, who caught up with the first and second place finishers. Mississippi Blues Marathon was a success. For the first time ever, the race started and ended right here at the state capitol. And the runner who led for most of the race was actually caught from behind in the end. Um, it's a battle out there, and uh, I'm going out and, and uh, you know, being in control for a while, uh, most of the race, and I just knew um, probably with uh, four or so miles, it was, uh, it was, uh, <laughs> I was just going to have to hang in and um, just make the best of the day. Marathon winner A.J. Wallach says it was his preparation and pace that helped him get the come from behind first place finish. Well, this week it was just really easy, a little bit of mileage every day. And really just coming into it, you know, looking at my watch, trying to hit a good pace and just slowly cutting down as I feel good. One week ago, second place finisher Peter Kazeri from Jackson ran the Pinotti 100 mile race. He says after that, he considered not running in the Blues Marathon. Leading up, I was um, I wasn't anticipating on running this. Um, it was kind of a last minute decision. I, it was like uh, piddling around online and I was like, oh, um, I just happened to be registered. So, I mean, like, you know, you're registered, you know, <laughs> it's like having tickets to a game. You got to go. Wallach is from St. Louis, Missouri. It was his first time running in the blues and he says he'll be back. Well, I had no idea that I would like do this well. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was a it was a good course, a good race. And um, I guess I'll have to do it again <laughs> sometime. So. The Blues Marathon is scheduled to return February 19th, 2022. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.